Hi travelers, welcome back to the channel. A video today on tipping at all-inclusive resorts. Now, one of the most common questions that I get after someone books is, what should we be tipping? Um, good question. So in your package, obviously, it does always say that gratuities are included. Um, but it's good to know that when you are traveling to another country, uh, they are the staff that is working is is typically working at a lot less wage than we'd be normally used to here in in Canada or the United States if you're watching this um, so it's it's you know it's not necessary to tip but it is always appreciated by the staff and I've found that no matter what resort that I've been to if you're going to a nice uh, recommended and a good resort um, your services is, is v v going to be you know the same whether you're tipping someone all the time or, or not um, very consistent service I find at, at, at the reputable uh, and good quality resorts so uh, don't feel I always say like, don't feel overly obligated to tip but you do want to show your appreciation and again it is very uh, uh, tipping is very personal so my suggestions might be completely different from someone else's um, and my experiences are always maybe a little bit different from someone else's so kind of the some of the suggestions that i have uh, for people that are traveling uh, going to let's just use uh, mexico for example all-inclusive resort um, you can either tip obviously they're appreciated in, in uh, american currency uh, as well as their mexican pesos uh, when i travel down i'm from canada i find it i find it easier to get the money exchanged to mexican pesos at the airport uh, usually it works out a little bit better for our canadian dollar to exchange it um, and tips are appreciated in in all you know in us or or uh, Mexican peso, so um, that's that's my preference to do that. I typically also don't really leave the resort that much, so a lot of like if you're going out and doing some excursions or um, going shopping, that kind of stuff. A lot of the stuff where you're bartering and going to some of the tourist uh, tourist spots where you're buying souvenirs, a lot of them are U.S. dollars. So if you're going to leave the resort, yeah, for sure, grab some grab some U.S. dollars if you're from Canada and take that with you on your uh, when you're heading off the resort. It kind of works out better in your favor when the prices are in U.S. dollars instead of converting back and forth and everything else. But if you're tipping, so anyways, back to tipping. Um, good rule of thumb if, if you have a, the pool server coming by if they're coming by for your drink and you want to give them a little tip uh, either you know one US dollar two US dollars which is equivalent to roughly uh, with with pesos would be they have the 20 peso note or the and the, a 50 peso note so you could give them 20 to, to 50 pesos you don't have to necessarily tip on every on every round of drinks but you know perhaps if they they come around a few times you'll get to know you'll get to know the servers and you know just uh, give them a couple at the beginning and or 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 if you have a you know having to just have a larger bill give it to them at the end of the day before you're leaving the beach you've been with the same you'll have the same server all day um, and just as you're you know wrapping up getting your beach bags and taking your towels off and heading back to the room you know go up to the server and you can always hand them hand them something uh, for the for the whole day that works uh, that works as well um, for breakfast usually breakfast is done a lot of people just usually go to the buffet so you know you're sometimes if you're a quick eater you're kind of in and out and just grabbing a few things off the buffet you're not going for the full you know the full meal service so it, again a dollar to a couple of uh, 20 to 40 pesos is is more than adequate when you're tipping at a uh, breakfast for the breakfast restaurant uh, same would go for lunch if you're just gonna hit the buffet for lunch uh, the same amount from there if you decide to perhaps go to the a la carte one of the a la carte restaurants for for lunch and have maybe a bit more of service and they go above, a bit of above and beyond um, by all means you can you can look at tipping a little bit more uh, if you if you if you wanted to as well on there now where things might change a little bit more is if you're deciding to do one of the specialty restaurants for dinner um, you know a lot of these are, are a full you know meal service so you're gonna have a, a a wine steward you're going to have a bus a busser you're going to have a server there's gonna be obviously a Somalia there so it's a bit more of a in-depth service and I do like to re, you know tip the the servers for a great evening especially if they go out of their way with creating some special maybe some special menu items setting you up a nice getting you a nice table in a nice area uh, or even a special dessert flambe they'll come around and do or flame coffee at the end that kind of stuff so for dinner uh, typically you'll you'll I you know you'll want to tip a little bit more for great service um, you can uh, you know raise that to probably 10 to 20 US dollars if you're if you're wanting to 
um, and in terms of pesos, maybe you know 100 to 200 to 300, depending on what you've done for your meal. If you're going to the buffet, by all means, you don't don't feel obligated to tip as much because usually you know you're grabbing a you're grabbing a plate for the from the buffet for dinner. You're just get, maybe going up maybe maybe once, maybe twice to get it a little bit more and some dessert, and then you're kind of out. It's not the long as much as a you know a, a long service type dinner. So. Another uh, tipping would be the housekeeper at the resort. Now these are the housekeepers, they, they're, they're the ones that work. Um, I always like to, to leave, you'll, you'll typically have the, a couple of housekeepers throughout the week. So it's kind of, I kind of recommend you can either leave a, 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 a tip on the pillow for them um, and they will get that. But if you'll probably notice that you might get a couple of different uh, housekeepers working and what you might want to do to make sure that, you know, if you've been working with one, uh, and you've, you've noticed them throughout the week and it's getting to the end of your stay is to maybe grab them and just give them a little something on the side when you see them in the hallway because they might not be there the next day when you're gonna at the end so maybe just make just to make sure that everybody kind of gets a little bit something um, and the housekeepers do work very hard um, I usually kind of every couple days leave you leave you know ten dollars on the on the pillow equivalent of that to Mexican pesos you know 100 to 200 pesos um, I'll leave a little bit, you can always kind of leave a little bit more if, the, if you maybe had a day in the room and it's a little bit messier and you've used all the towels or you know, you've had room service in and the plates are still there and they have a bit more stuff to clean up. By all means, I kind of like, like to leave them a little something and they do appreciate that as well. Uh, some people also too like to put a little bit of something into the mini bar fridge. So good, a good tip for this, which uh, I've kind of figured out is if there's a, if there's a particular uh, you know beer, alcohol, or a pop or something particular that you like, is write a little note the first day uh, and leave a, leave a small tip within the uh, within in it with within the fridge. And when the when the person that's coming by to restock the mini bar, they'll see they'll see your note, they'll see the little tip, and you, you'll be pretty much guaranteed to have a uh, steady supply of your preferred beverages on your um, in your mini bar as well so so that's my suggestion for tipping I would love to hear what you you know what you tip for uh, when you're on vacation it's obviously a very personal personal decision with what people do when they're tipping some people tip a lot some people don't tip some people tip right in the middle um, there's no right or wrong answer to this so I, as well I am curious to see what everybody else uh, does when they're on their uh, when they're on their all-inclusive vacation, uh, when when gratuities, they do say they are included. So that would be great to hear your thoughts. Leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, uh, hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see more videos, you can always subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below there. But also turn on the notification button because I do share resort uh, deal videos from time to time that are limited. Uh, offers and it's nice to be notified when the video gets posted. So if it's something that you wanted to jump on, you would see that it's a, this deal is available. Thanks again for watching and until my next video, you can uh, check out these ones.